Hi, I'm Greg Whip with Alpine Wild. We're all about you having a great experience in the outdoors. And with a little preparation, you'll have a trip of a lifetime hiking and trekking in the Alps. So today, we're going to answer three questions about rain gear. First, should you even bring rain gear when you're hiking in the Alps? Next, what type of rain gear should you bring? And finally, what features should you look for in rain gear? Realistically, the likelihood of rain on any given day in the Alps is low. I've been hiking for days on end and never had to pull out my full rain gear. But over the course of a week, you're likely to have maybe a few hours where you'll be wearing your rain gear. If you spend boatloads of money and buy expensive top-of-the-line rain gear, I can't guarantee it will rain and make your investment pay out. But I can't guarantee it won't rain either. So my advice is bring your rain gear and be pleasantly surprised if you never have to use it. Perfect rain gear has always been the holy grail for hikers. It needs to be both waterproof and breathable. Then in 1969, an engineer named Bob Gore was experimenting with a chemical compound called polytetrafluoroethylene, better known as Teflon. When he rapidly heated and stretched the polymer, he discovered that rather than snapping or shattering, it became incredibly elastic and formed billions of microscopic holes per square inch, holes much smaller than a drop of water, but much larger than water vapor. This polymer membrane became the basis of Gore-Tex, waterproof breathable fabric, which keeps rain and snow out, but lets vapor from sweat escape from the inside. The membrane is then sandwiched between an inner layer that faces your body and an outer layer treated with a durable water repellent chemical that protects the laminate and forms the water into beads so that the outside of the jacket doesn't absorb water. The Gore-Tex name has become synonymous with waterproof breathable outerwear, and it has broad applications in aerospace, medicine, and other industries. But Gore-Tex is not alone, and other products from Sympatex, Polartec, and Event have come to market and built on that technology. But Gore is still the industry leader, and they've continued to improve fabric performance. The next evolution, known as permanent beading surface, is lighter weight and even more water resistant. So as you buy your jacket and rain pants, you have dozens of textile manufacturers and clothing brands to choose from. Your jacket will be a multi-purpose outer layer or shell, which will protect you from rain, wind, and cold. While your rain pants will typically stay in the bottom of your pack and only come out during a rainstorm, I have on occasion worn my rain pants as a windbreaker or maybe a warmth layer. By the way, I also highly recommend hiking shoes with a Gore-Tex or other waterproof breathable layer. When you're buying rain gear, here are four features you should look for. First, pockets. Both your rain jacket and your rain pants should have at least one easily accessible pocket for storing essentials like a phone, glasses, snacks, or keys. Next, your rain jacket should have a fully adjustable hood, which can be cinched around your face snugly and comfortably so that it doesn't flop around or disturb you as the wind blows. I also like a hood that fits snugly around the bill of a ball cap, which acts like an awning to keep the rain off your face. If you want to stay dry in cold weather, get a jacket with a zipper under your armpits. Pit zips, as they're called. Pit zips can be open to vent off excess heat and moisture when you really start to sweat. Finally, summer rain can come surprisingly fast and hard, so you'll want to be able to put on your rain pants quickly without having to sit down and take off your shoes. Look for pants that have an expandable ankle opening or zipper that allows you to slip your pants over your boots without having to take them off first. Nothing worse than starting a rainstorm already wet. So there you have it. 
my rain gear tips for happy hiking in the Alps. I'd love to hear your questions or suggestions for future videos. In the meantime, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and you can be at the top of your game when it's time to hit the trail.